Welcome to another edition of the Joomla Tips and Secrets training videos. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Joomla overrides and how you can go ahead and create new overrides and edit pre-existing overrides inside of your template with Joomla. In the last video I showed you how you could go ahead and edit template files right inside of the template manager in Joomla simply by going over here to templates selecting your template and then over here on the left you've got all of your folders and files such as your CSS files and you can edit them right here so today we're gonna look at overrides and overrides are found here in the HTML folder of a template and basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to change the view of a certain component say the um, content you can change the layout of an article of the um, category, etc, etc, etc. So today we're going to see how easy it is to create a new override. So let's say we want to override the way that the module banners works. Before you'd have to go ahead and download the mod banners and do a little tweaks to um, the file structure and then upload it to your HTML folder of your template. But now with Joomla you can just click on mod banners and the banner has been created. So you can go over here to the editor, go into the HTML, find mod banners, default PHP, open it, and you can edit it right there. And what's great about this is with an override, you are not touching the core Joomla. You're actually putting it inside the template. So if Joomla makes an update to, say, the banner module, you might have to go back and change the override, but it's not going to overwrite your changes when you upload a new version of Joomla. So let's go ahead and check out how you go ahead and edit some of this stuff. So for this example, I'm going to use our Forte template, and we're looking here at the com content, and I'm going to go here to the article. Actually, let's go to the category, and let's go to the blog item. And so let's go to the main website, and let's go to the blog here and you're going to see that this is a category blog and each one of these is the blog item and you see we have a hover here and a link so let's say that we want to go ahead and remove the link from the image we can go over here to our administrator and we can open up the blog item and we can go down here and see that right here we're going to be calling the image Okay, and here's the ahref. This is where the link is going. So if we want to remove the link, we can just take the A out and then the closing A here and hit save. So now we can go back to the layout and see that the hover's there, but it no longer is linked. So let's go back here and let's put this back one thing to keep in mind here when you're working with the editor right inside of Joomla is there are no undos. So if you're doing some heavy work, you might want to go ahead and make a backup of the file first. As you see here, I'm having a problem remembering where this went. <laughs> okay. So now here we've got this um, animation going on. So you see fade in, blog post image wrapper. Let's go ahead and say that we want to get rid of that hover there. We can go ahead and use inspector on this. And we can see that the class that's actually doing that is this p style ne div. So let's go over here to our overrides again and let's remove that and save and now let's refresh and now you see the image links but no hover let's go back here and add the hover back in 
And as you can see, this uh, really allows you some quick editing you can do. Um, but if you're going to be doing a lot of editing, I really would suggest you use a uh, FTP program and a text editor to go ahead and make your changes, something that has multiple undos. But for quick little things like this, um, this is a great tool and a great addition to Joomla. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, and we'll see you next time.